Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my newest members, Abdullah Sako. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members are giving shout outs in my videos. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button. And let's get started. So in this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. F is a differentiable function. And for x, y values that are positive, we have f of x over y equals f of x over f of y. And we're going to be solving for f of x. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, since f is differentiable, you could already guess that we're going to use differentiation. But first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at f of 1. So I'm going to replace x and y both with 1. And from here we get f of 1 equals f of 1 over f of 1. Obviously, f of 1 in this case cannot be 0. And if it's not 0, then this gives us f of 1 equals 1. Great. Now, we know now we now know that f of 1 is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and use differentiation. So I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. And when we do, we get the following. Since y is going to be a constant in this case, because we're differentiating with respect to x, it's just going to be like f of x divided by a constant. So it's going to be f prime x over y. And then that is just going to be multiplied by 1 over y, which is the constant. So it's kind of like this, f of kx, in this case, the constant is going to be 1 over y. And when you differentiate it, it's just going to be 1 over y. The derivative of the inside, which comes from the chain rule. Okay, the right-hand side, since y is a constant, f of y is a constant. So the derivative of f of x, which is f prime of x, divided by the constant, which is f of y. Awesome. Now, in this equation, let's go ahead and replace y with x. Why? because it's going to give us, first of all, uh, f of 1, uh, and not, all, not actually f of 1, but uh, it's going to give us f prime of 1. So that's something that we would like to use. Okay, so if I replace y with x on both sides, I get f prime of 1 multiplied by 1 over x, because we're replacing y with x. And on the right-hand side, f prime of x divided by f of x. Awesome. So everything is written in terms of x because we replace y with x. Now notice that f prime of 1 is a constant. So let's go ahead and call that c. Awesome. Now we get the following equation. c over x equals f prime of f prime of x divided by f of x, which you can basically write as y prime over y. And from here, we get the following. If you kind of cross multiply, I'm going to turn it into a differential equation. So it's going to look like this. Cy equals, if I do cross multiplication, Cy equals x times y prime. And then y prime can be replaced with dy over dx. Now, this is a separable differential equation, but let's go ahead and separate the variables. So I would like to put dx and x on the left-hand side, and c can stay there, that's fine. So we can write it as, or I can actually isolate the, the y terms on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'll divide both sides by y, so dy over y, and everything else will be on the other side. It's going to look like the following. dy over y equals c times dx over x. Awesome. This is now, the variables are already separated. Now let's go ahead and integrate both sides. And then since they are separated, we can basically uh, find y from here. And notice that the x and y values were given as positive. So when we use the ln function, we don't have to worry about the absolute value. Great. So from here, we get the following. ln y equals c times ln x plus another constant. Let's just use k for that. And now if I put these two together, 
I can basically write this as ln y equals ln x to the power c plus ln e to the power k. So I can replace k with ln e to the power k, which is the same thing. And now we can put these two lns together and write it as e to the power k times x to the power c with the ln function. Now since we have ln on both sides, we can basically get rid of them or do e to the power both sides. And that's going to give us y equals e to the power k times x to the power c. Now, notice that k is a constant and e to the power k is also a constant. So let's go ahead and replace e to the power k with something like m. So from here we get the following, y equals m times x to the power c. c is, by the way, f prime at 1. We're going to write that at the end. Okay, great. So this is our function, f of x. We can basically write f of x as m times x to the power c, but we don't know what m is. But we can easily evaluate that because we do know that f of 1 is equal to 1. Awesome. That's something we can use to evaluate m. So f of 1 from here is going to be m. So m is equal to 1. And since m is equal to 1, we can write f of x as x to the power c. And c is f prime at 1. Okay, so that basically gives us the solution, but let's go ahead and check something out. If f of x is equal to x to the power c, if you differentiate f of x, you get c times x to the power c minus 1 by using the power rule. And then if you replace x with 1 in the derivative, you get c, which is basically what we are claiming. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.